Hi guys, so today is another lip declutter video. Today we are looking at mauves, purples, and then anything that I would consider to be like a grayish color. So one of those sort of dusty, purpley gray colors that are kind of hip and cool, but definitely need a certain makeup style to make work, at least on my skin tone. Got a lot of different formulas, a lot of different colors in here, a lot of really fun colors today. So if you like brighter lipsticks, you're definitely going to find some fun things in here. And if you're like me and you're mauve obsessed, I get it. I would say probably two thirds of what's in here is probably mauve when I think about it. So let's get into today's video because we have a lot to swatch. I will say I filmed a couple of these back to back and I just got done filming the pinks video. If you missed that, I'll link it down below. But my arm is freaking stained at this point. I have tried uh, all kinds of facial oils and things to get some of these swatch stains off and it's just not happening. But I want to plow through. I want to get through these lip declutters so that I can get my collection organized again. And yeah, hopefully it doesn't mess with the swatches too much. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so wasn't lying, a lot of mauve. This is grays and purples back here and the rest of this is mauve shades. So mama likes her mauves, what can I say? Um, similar to past videos, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these kind of color by color and then, so over here we've got liquid lipsticks. Once we finish with a particular color category here, I will pull in liquid lipsticks secondarily and we'll swatch those and just make sure we're not keeping too many duplicates. I do want to start this whole process by just looking at ones that I think are old or expired or I know need to go out of my collection because there's a few here that I spot that are that way. So one for sure is from Sephora. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I don't remember what these were called. I think these were like a matte shade, but this is like completely falling out of the tube. Every time I, um, it's like, you can see, it's falling out of the bullet. Um, it's a beautiful color, but I clearly, this is just, gotta go. Kind of in the same vein, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lipstick. They don't even make these anymore. And similarly, it, um, coming out of its container, so impossible to apply. That's gonna get trashed. And unfortunately, this NYX Full Throttle in 05 uh, Trickster, beautiful color, but it is also broken and coming out of its packaging and totally smushed. So I loved this shade, but I think I've still got it covered in this bite lipstick, so I'm gonna throw this one out as well. Um, at the risk of easing myself into all of these mauves, let's actually start with what is back here. So let's start with purple shades. So this is an oddball shade for me. This is actually a navy blue. This is the Sh Sapphire Siren from Maybelline. I wanted a navy blue lipstick and I thought I would play around with this a little bit. Um, it is actually a fun shade. I don't feel like I'm wearing this a ton. I think I wore it to a rock concert once. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna keep it in my collection. It was fun, but not something I'm gonna reach for. I mean, maybe once every couple of years, so not worth keeping for that respect. This is a little bite um, crayon in violet. I think they might be getting ready to discontinue these, but I actually really like this color. To me, this is a very wearable purple color. Um, so if you're scared of purples, I would point you towards something like this. If you can't find this anymore, the NYX shade in Trickster and Full Throttle that I decluttered still fits the bill and is a very similar shade. These are more bright berry type purples, but I just felt like they were different shades than what I had in my um, berries category. So I decided to put them in with purples. This is Firebird from Urban Decay. This is in its Gwen Stefani packaging, but it is available in its regular line. Really fun color. Um, this is number 29 from Rimmel Kate. I think this is a fairly similar color, maybe a little more purple, a little less pink. This is the shade Berry Couture from Revlon. And another from Revlon, this is Wild Orchid. I don't wear this shade a ton. So I think, you know, if I look at these two, they are very similar, Firebird and this Revlon shade, Wild Orchid, but I feel like Firebird is just a lot brighter and more intensely pigmented. So I'm gonna keep Firebird and pass on Wild Orchid. And then I don't feel like I need both of these shades in here. I feel like the pigmentation on this Revlon one is just a little, less intense. I mean, it's a little more muted, so it might be a more wearable color, but I think I'm actually gonna keep the Rimmel one and pass on the Revlon. One thing I should mention, I'm getting rid of another lip palette. This one kind of caught my eye because I thought this fun shade down here was 
really interesting kind of topper color. I mean, they're all colors that I would wear, but once again, just know with the lip palettes. All right, let's pull in some liquid lipsticks. All right, I have three here that clearly got misplaced into these bins as I was sorting. These are all clearly hot pink shades. So I just wanna address these quickly. I'm just gonna put these in my totals because I don't wanna have to go back and refilm my pink video. So apologies for that. But this Fiona Styles shade in Thrasher, these are all starting to go and separate. So I do wanna pass this on. This Revlon HD lip color. The smell of this is okay to me. It's a bright hot pink. This is a liquid lipstick. I don't think these ever really dry down matte. And then this is Kat Von D in Miss Argentina. I feel like this is very similar to a shade that I kept, sort of that bright raspberry shade. So in all honesty, I'm not gonna miss either one of these. I'm gonna pass them on. All right, so now we come to some purple shades in my liquid lipsticks. Um, this is a Revlon Ultra HD lip color. This is the shade, I think this is Orchid? No, Crush, HD Crush. This is kind of a lavendery pink color. Yeah, this may should have been in my pinks, although that is kind of similar to this. Um, I kept some orchidy pinks like this. I don't love this formula. It's a cool color, but I'm gonna pass it on. Um, these two are full matte lipsticks. So this is the Melted Matte Shade in Unicorn from Too Faced. I really like this deep vampy purple. I actually wore this quite a bit. It's very cool tone purple. It's intense, like you gotta be willing to rock it. But I actually wore this to a friend's wedding and I freaking loved it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Deeply Disturbed. I wanna say these were ended up being very similar to one another. Yeah, if anything, that one's just a little vampier. So I am gonna keep the Too Faced one and pass this guy on. This is a Color Jolt from Maybelline. This is the shade Violet Rebel. That's pretty, but I don't know how often I'm gonna reach for that. I'm gonna pass that on. And then I've got some more plummy ones here. This is the shade La Main Bleu from NARS Velvet Lip Glide. I love this. Yeah, see, I'd rather keep this over the one I just got rid of. Really do like that. This is a liquid or ultra satin lip from ColourPop Rather. This is the shade Panda. It's a very plummy, purpley color. It's a little more plum than this like bright purple. So you can see this one's got a lot more berry to it than the purple from Too Faced. And then this is a Kat Von D shade in Suspiria. I do really like this shade, I remember that. This is a very similar color in a liquid lipstick form to this Bite Crayon. I really do like this sort of muted purple color, so I do think I wanna keep that. It'll be good to have a berry in that, so I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the rest of these. Well, crap, now my arm is stained even more. I'm gonna go try and get this off with some makeup oil. All right, that is as good as it's gonna get. It's still pretty smirked up, but we're gonna have to, word will deal. Um, next up, let's talk about grayish tones. I do like a good grayish. I feel like it is a color that works for my cooler undertones. And I think it's a little fun and edgy. Um, I do enjoy having some grayish tones, but I also don't feel like it's a color that I'm reaching for a ton. So I just wanna be careful when I'm wearing these very cool undertoned lipsticks that I'm going to enjoy them. So this is Silk Stone. This is from Maybelline. This is a metallic, if I remember. Yeah. So this is sort of a silver grayish metallic shade. Similar shade, but not metallic. This is Gone Grayish from their Bold line. You can see that one's a lot less silver than that one, a little more brown leading. This is sort of a grayish purple color. This is Tea Rose from e.l.f. This is one of their matte lip pencils. So more of a muted plummy grayish color. This is a ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Boys Town. Definitely creamy and maybe a little less gray than these. And then this is Lip Tensity shade from MAC in Driftwood. Very comfy formula. This is more of a pale grayish. All right, I think I can pass on this first shade. I don't think I'm gonna reach for something that silvery and gray toned. I need a little bit of depth to it besides just straight gray. So I'm gonna pass that on. Tea Rose is pretty. I think this is different. It's cool undertoned, but it's definitely a little bit more lavendery pink. So I do think I wanna hang on to it. For the rest of these, um, I personally feel like this Lip Tensity shade is 
pretty, but it's just not my favorite favorite. Like I remember every time I put it on, I'm always like, eh. I wish it was just like a little more intense or a little more dark. I felt like it washed me out because it was a lighter grayish. And if I'm going to go grayish, I feel like it needs to be one of these deeper tones. So I think I'm going to pass this on. And then I'm going to keep these two here. One from ColourPop in Boys Town and Colin Grage from Maybelline. All right, let's swatch these. This should have been in my purples, in all honesty. I, I missed it. This is the Water Kiss from Essence. Um, I like this formula. I think it's really pretty and really comfortable. So I am going to keep this one. Should have been probably talked about in my last little set. This is ColourPop Molly. This is maybe not grayish. This might be a little more purple leaning. Yeah, it's definitely more purple leaning. I feel like this one is starting to go. This is one of my first ColourPop shades, to be honest, and it's not feeling the same as it used to. It's feeling a little thicker, so I think I'm going to pass. This is Little Baby Cream Lip Stain from Sephora, but this is a color I had wanted to try, uh, 35. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I feel like, yeah, see, that's a very grazy purple color. I feel like it's going to be very similar to this Maybelline one in Visionary. It's close. This one's maybe a little more purpley than this one, which is a little more gray. Uh, let's look at these real fast. This is a matte, Vivid Matte Lipstick in Gray Envy from Maybelline. And then this is an Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Angora from L'Oreal. All right, I don't feel like I need both of these. I think I like the undertone on the Maybelline one a little more, so I'm going to pass on the Infallible. I'm going to keep the Maybelline, uh, and I'm trying to decide if I really want to keep both of these. I'm not going to reach for this shade a ton, to be honest. Um, it's silly, but I think I'm going to keep this little baby dude. It's not a color I'm going to use. I like this formula quite a bit. I actually like the undertone of this a little bit more. If I use this up, I will go get a real one, and then I will pass on this Maybelline one. Okay, so we're a bit into the future now. I had to stop filming to go do movie time with my stepdaughter and my husband and run some errands. And so it's much later in the evening, but I wanna make sure I get through all of these because I kind of cut off midstream. What's left here are all of the mauves and it's clearly the biggest chunk of this collection. So I think we're just gonna have to swatch and see where duplicates are. I'm not necessarily sure I know uh, what is repetition in this. So let's just start. This is Milani, this is Femme Rose. This is one of their cream formulas. They do a matte as well. It's a very pretty sort of muted plummy, kind of desaturated. It's a neat color. This is from Kiko Milano. This is their Velvet Passion line. This is shade 316. This is definitely going to be a pinker, mauve shade. Next up is this is from Julep. This is the shade Chit Chat. I don't think they make these anymore. It was a cream formula, but it was a little sheerer. It's a very similar color to the one that we just swatched, but sheerer and more balm-like. This is an older formula, Urban Decay in Rapture. Definitely one of my favorite shades that they do. It's more of a purpley mauve color. And then this is their new Vice lipstick packaging. This is the shade Back Talk. This might could have gone in my nude. No, that's mauve. This I think is one that I'm just gonna, I know I'm gonna declutter. This is the ultra blotted lip from ColourPop. This is the shade Ice. I just never got into this formula. In theory, you can build it up and it kind of gave you like a light staining effect. I don't know, this was never my jam. I'm gonna pass this guy along. This is the It's Balm shade in Blossom Pink Cream. Super comfortable formula, love that. This is a Baby Bite in the shade Pepper, which is a popular shade from them. That's almost more of a nude now that I see it. And then this is the shade Movember, Mauve Ember. This was their 2016 color. It's very purpley. Really pretty shade. Baby Mark Jacobs. This is the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Mm, this is looking a little more rosy pink. Yeah, I feel like I had this many times over when we did the pinks this last video. Um, I don't think I need this, pass that on. This is a really cool brand from Anthropology. I think it's their own brand. This is the shade Rosewood. I can't remember the name of this brand. I will put it on the screen here, but the packaging is really vintage and pretty. I like it a lot. It's a really almost like, almost more of a nude than a true mauve, but really pretty color. This is from Shea Moisture. This is the shade Tea Rose. 
This is a Revlon Matte Balm Stick. This is in the shade Sultry. And that's almost more of a rose too. I may have misplaced that one. Uh, Revlon HD Gel in HD Dawn. This I know I like. It's paler, but it's such a pretty shade. I really love that shade. This is Baywatch from ColourPop. I don't know where Lumiere is. Lumiere should be in this section too. I wonder if I've lost Lumiere. That would make me sad. It's a very purpley kind of mauve. This is newer to my collection. We talked about this in the Drugstore Roundup series under Soap and Glory. This is their Pout Standing Matte and Shine Lipstick. This has got a pencil on one side and a liner on the other. Really flattering shade. This is the NYX Ombre Lip Duo. I feel like this is falling out if I remember correctly. It has a pencil on one side and a, like a cream stick kind of on the other. It's obnoxiously priced. Gosh, that really is probably more of a pink than a mauve. Well, is what it is. This is Buxom Plump Line in the shade Dolly Danger. Wow, those are really similar. This is from NYC. I don't think they put carry this brand in the US anymore, or I can't find it anymore. This is their City Color Matte in the shade Pink City. And then last but not least, this is the Marc Jacobs. This is their Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon. This is in the shade Night Mauves. All right, we are all over the place here with colors and stuff. All right, let's get rid of a couple here. So this Lamarck Gel Lip Cream, I like how it goes on my lips, but I feel like it dries down and actually makes my lips really, really dry. It's a strange formula because it feels super creamy going on, and then after a few hours, it just feels incredibly drying. So I do think I'm gonna pass this on. I think I'm also gonna pass this one on. I feel like I have the shade kind of replicated in a couple places here, and this is older, and I don't even know if you can get these anymore. All right, for these three here, I don't feel like I need all of them. So I do think I'm gonna pass on the NYX Ombre Lip Duo. Um, super freaking expensive product, would not recommend it. And since it's replicated in these two, and I feel like I like the formula on these, Buxom Plump Line and then this matte lip duo and crayon from Soap and Glory so much more. Um, I think I'm going to keep these two, pass that one. Okay, so of stuff that's left, um, I know this one probably should have been in the other collection. It's rosy colored, but I did just wear this and I loved it. I took it on a trip with me, so I know I'm not ready to part with that. I'm also not ready to part with this one. It's super glossy and comfortable, um, but because I'm keeping this, I do think I'm gonna get rid of this Julep one down here, which is a very similar shade. Um, these aren't available anymore, and I don't think I need both. This ColourPop one here at the end is a really interesting shade. I don't feel like it is like anything else that's on my arm, so I definitely wanna hang on to this. I think I'm gonna pass this little pepper on from um, bite. It's a nice color, but I'm not reaching for it a ton, and I feel like it is very, very similar to the Urban Decay one down here, so I'm gonna pass that on. Gonna keep these two Urban Decay. It's Balm one is a little pinker, but it's a really comfortable formula, so that's two sort of glossy ones we'll keep. Uh, Mauve Ember is also really interesting. It's a very purpley shade, very, very, very cool toned. Um, I think I need to decide between this Shea Moisture one and then this Kiko one because I think they are almost the same color. Yeah, those are almost exactly the same color. I think I'm gonna hang on to the Kiko and pass along the Shea Moisture. And then I do think I'm gonna keep these two. Rosewood probably could have been in my uh, nude lipstick declutter now that I see it next to these. And then this shade down here is really kind of unique. It's kind of a plummy mauve brown color. So that is good for these. All right, so what we're left with here are liquid lipsticks of various forms, both liquefied and matte liquid lipsticks. So these are the glossier ones down here. These are two I'm gonna swatch, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not getting rid of. This is the shade Bound in the NARS Velvet Lip Glide. Beautiful color, this was part of their first release. And then the second shade is Roseland, and this was a shade that just came out along with a few others over the summertime. A little rosier, probably could have been in my Pinks and Rose collection, uh, but it got dropped in here. But I love the undertone, I love the formula of both of these, so these are going nowhere. This is from NYX, this is the Lip Luster, this is in the shade Antique Romance. This formula is very similar 
to the one we just talked about. But this is a, gosh, that's probably a little more pinky than mauve, but hey, sometimes these get sorted into the wrong bin. I do like this formula, but let's keep going. This is Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Flawless. I think this is technically part of their colorful collection. This is definitely a more cool toned, moussey, matte liquid lipstick. I do like this formula. This is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Moody. And these puffy applicators are not my favorite, but this one actually seems to work fairly well for this color. So I didn't hate that. This is really cute. This is from Peri Para. This is a Korean beauty brand. This is shade 10. I got this in Korea, but we found these the other day in our local CVS. I was shocked to see them. So this is their mauve shade, a little more pinky and warm and less cool toned. This is a little Makeup Forever sample. I tried this once, didn't care for it. I already know I'm going to pass this along. I will swatch it. In fact, this probably should have been in the grayish's section. Yeah, definitely. Um, this is shade 105. It's okay, nothing to write home about. This is from Ofra. I don't know what color this is. This was an Ipsy bag. I think this is an Ipsy exclusive color, but it is a very pretty mauve purpley tone. I do like the Ofra liquid lipsticks quite a bit. This is Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Lovesick. This is one where it dries much darker than it swatches. Uh, it looks pretty light when you put it on, but it actually will sit here for a few seconds and darken quite a bit. I do really like this shade quite a bit. This is new from Physicians Formula. It is the Healthy Lip in the shade Dose of Rose. Lovely formula on these. Really comfortable. That's a really pretty, more warm toned mauve. And then we come to two Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. So this is the shade Medusa. Print, the fine print on that was so freaking tiny. Um, that is almost more gracious. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna keep that one, we'll see. And it's spit lipstick everywhere at me. Very nice. This shade is probably my favorite. This is Trophy Wife. I think this is one she is absolutely known for. Really pretty mauve shade there. I don't love the how liquidy these are though. They have a tendency to come just like splurting out of the container. So I like the color, I like the final formula, but I don't really like the application method. This is a Jouer liquid lipstick in the shade Cassis. That one is very orchid purple. This is probably my favorite shade from the new Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. This is the shade 15 Lover. I really love how this wears on my lips. It lasts for freaking ever. This is the NARS Power Matte Lipstick in Save the Queen. This is a very liquidy formula and it feels nice when it goes on your lips. Oh shoot. And it just went everywhere. Yes, I'm not sure I love this. Hopefully you guys can see. We have splurts everywhere. Awesome. Maybe not my favorite formula then. And then finally, this is the Lancome uh, Matte Shaker in Rose Mantic. And that is really pretty too. Give me a sec, I'm going to attempt to clean this up and we'll be right back. Well, we have stains now. Uh, this is actually a paper that I use as a background versus like actual marble. So thankfully I have more of this paper that I can use because this is gonna have to get trashed because that stained everything. I think I'm gonna pass on this NARS one here. I, it's not my favorite formula, it's very messy. And I also think I'm gonna pass on this Huda Beauty one that's very grayish. I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. Probably should have been in my grayish's collection. Very, very liquidy. Kind of run the risk of it doing just what it did here when you pull the wand out, so not my favorite. Um, I do think I'm gonna keep this matte shaker. I do enjoy these matte ones and I like this color here, so that can stay. I know I wanna keep this Maybelline one down here. It just lasts forever. I feel like it's bulletproof. I do wanna keep this. I think it's lighter and a, just a lighter wash of nude than any of the others, so I wanna hang on to that. I think I wanna hang on to this lip luster just cause it reminds me so much of the NARS Velvet Lip Glides. It's a really pretty color as well. This Ofra and this Jouer one are pretty much the darn same shade here. So I need to probably pass on one and keep the other. I think I'm gonna keep the Ofra one and pass the Jouer one along. For as much as I like the Healthy Lip, I feel like the Peri Para 
um, Airy Velvet ink is very, very similar toned right now. So I do actually think I'm gonna pass this on on to a friend who I know will love it. And then I will keep this one, sentimental reasons. And then I think I'm gonna hang on to these three. So I will be right back with some totals. All right guys, so here is what I am keeping in this bin. This is the bin that is getting donated and or given to friends and family. I think I did pretty well. I feel like as I put these into the little spreadsheet that's keeping track of all this for me, I feel like I keep hitting the number 46 percent over and over and over again. So I got rid of 46% again in this declutter. It's bizarre. So I'm keeping 36 and I'm getting rid of 31. So feel like that's a pretty even amount to get rid of. I feel like I've kept the things I love in these purples and grayish as, and mauves. And I've gotten rid of duplicates and things that I just don't care for as much. So feeling good about this. We have two more lip colors to go through. We have reds and oranges. That will be the next one. And then we also have berries and vampy tones. That will be the final lip Stick. And then we'll be moving into a totally new category of product. I'm not entirely sure which yet. We've got some eyeshadow stuff. We've got some single shadows. We've got lip glosses still, foundations. So if you guys have a preference as far as what we move to next, let me know down in the comments below. Happy to film what you guys are most interested in seeing me declutter next. But until then, look forward to talking to you guys in my next video. Bye.